What's up guys, it's Bruton here and I'm super excited. I just got my 32 gigabyte flash drive from SanDisk in the mail today. Bought it off eBay, brand new. Um, as you can see, I did open it, just so I didn't have to waste time in the video to open it. Um, but uh, I wanted to make sure it worked before I did this video as well, because I'm going to show you guys how to ready boost your computer. Um, so this is the Cruiser, it basically is capless, and SanDisk, and 32 gigabyte. Anyways, um, now in order to do this to my computer here, I have an Acer Spire. It has 3 gigabytes of RAM um, installed from the factory. No mod, but I'm thinking about doing something different to it. Um, so this is kind of a quick fix, something to make it better. Right, so here's the USB port. You're just going to plug, plug your flash drive in there. You've got mail. Uh, sorry, there goes my iPhone 4 off. And in order to do this, you're going to see when you plug it in, it says speed up your system and I'm going to show you guys two different ways to get this you can plug your flash drive in click on it and that's going to pop up I'm back up a little wait for this to open up mm, sometime okay well maybe not so, okay there it is finally um, now to do this um, your computer it's 32 gigs and you're seeing this you can ready boost your computer and give it um, 4,094 megabytes of RAM which is just like 4 gigs and like 0.94 or some shit like that um, or not even that but uh, anyways um, you can kind of adjust it back and forth and on Windows Vista that's all that I believe that you can do but if you have Windows 7 like me you can click this the start button over here go to your computer go to your removable disk and you're going to want to right click it and go down to properties I'm sorry, format first. We gotta do that first. So you go to format. And you see it's on the default, which is FAT32. And you're gonna wanna format it to EXFAT. And when you do that, you're gonna start. Yes. And it's done. So now that it's on that kind of format in the EXFAT and not the FAT32 or whatever, you're gonna go down to properties again. And once that pops up, for some reason it takes forever on my computer. Um, but once I get this done, it'll go a little bit faster. It's about a year old computer, and I'm not sure why it's so slow. So once you get the properties showed up for your removal, uh, your new hard, your flash drive, you're gonna click here. And now look, now that it's in the EXFAT, you can give it 30,427 megabytes of RAM, which is just over um, um, 30 gigabytes. So anyways. I'm going to dedicate my device, which means that every time I plug the device into my computer, it's going to go straight to Ready Boost and go like that. But if you don't want to do that, you can just do this. But then once you if you take the flash drive out, you when you plug it back in, you have to do it again. So I'm just going to dedicate my device, click Apply, and you're going to see that pops up. And there you go. And then you just click OK. And you see that now? Now it's at, um, now you only have that much, like 5.31 megabytes left out of the 29.8 gigabytes that is on the flash drive. Um, so anyways, I'm not, I am kidding, the internet, okay. So it does, everything loads a lot faster than what it was. Like my Gmail usually took a little bit longer than that. Um, here's my Facebook pops up really fast again. Um, go to this website real quick. It's just all these different, they load a lot faster, like, um, these things usually took like a lot longer than that. That's a sliding keyboard for my iPhone 4, which I actually have right there. Well, anyways, guys, if you have any questions about that, um, just give me a message. Um, another thing that I'm doing is I have this, which is an SD card. Um, it's actually a micro SD. This is the adapter. It's only got a 2 gig in it. It's from my girlfriend's phone. And you can, my slot's right here. Um, the nice thing about that is, is you can also use these to ready boost your computer. And when you plug them in, it's a lot nicer because, as you see, you don't see anything. But with the flash drive, you have that sticking out. So I'm going to be buying a 32 gigabyte um, SanDisk soon for that. Um, now, it does work with other flash drives, but I prefer SanDisk just because. And you can also speed it up with the SD card. Um, works the same way. Um, you have to put it in the EX fat if you can do that, I believe you can. Um, but it's only 2 gigs, so that's all it really lets you anyways. I'll just show you that real quick. Um, but again, you just right click this, and you go down to properties, and it's not going to let me do it. And you would just go to ready boost, ready boost, and you can just, uh, also dedicate that to that. And you can just click apply, and you see it does that. So actually, I think I have two things now running on my RAM. 
Don't know if that makes it any faster or not. I haven't tried it as the first time. And, I mean, I think it would be a little bit faster. So, I mean, load this website up again because I knew that took a couple seconds. Yeah, look, that, I think, that just made it a lot faster. Now, on Windows 7, that's the only product that you can use the multiple things with. Again, uh, now you see I have about 32 gigs of RAM on my computer instead of the installed 3 gigs. If you guys want to check to see how many gigs you actually have, you're going to want to go to your start menu, computer, and then just right click over here in the white and go down to properties. That's how it works on my computer, not sure if it's yours. Um, but you're going to see that I do have installed memory, which is 3 gigs, and I have 64 bits, like blah, and all that BS. But as you see, I ready boosted my computer to give it that much. And the SD, which is pretty um, um, concealed, you can't really see it or anything. Um, and then that, which is kind of bulky, sticks out. Um, but yeah, it works a lot better, and I highly suggest you guys should do it to your computers if you're slowing down, even if you're not slowing down, just for a better computer experience overall. Um, it just works out a lot better. So, anyways, if you guys have any questions, again, just comment or message me. Please rate and subscribe. Later, guys.